All right, so we are live. Uh, we are so excited to present Amy Lycar, Dr. Amy Lycar today. She is a body mapping educator, the director of the, the training program for the Association for Body Mapping Educators and an Alexander Technique teacher. Uh, she will be leading us through a 15 minute constructive rest session today. So Amy, go ahead and take it away. All right, hi everybody. So a book that I read probably about a year and a half ago was a book by James Clear called Atomic Habits. And there's a quote that um, he uses of FM Alexander's, people don't choose their futures, they choose their habits and their habits determine, something like that, I'm paraphrasing, determine their futures. And almost 30 years ago, I was introduced to the concept of constructive rest and it was my homework assignment from my Alexander Technique and Body Mapping instructor, Barbara Conneval. And her instruction was to do constructive rest 10 minutes twice a day. Now I will say, I don't know that I've done that every day for the past 30 years, but when things get tough, things get stressful, things feel like they need a little organization, that's when I make sure I do 10 minutes of constructive rest twice a day. So for the last 11 months or so, I've been doing a lot of constructive rest. So I want you to find a comfortable position to lie down in. Hopefully you watch the videos that were sent out that sort of describe what you can set up for a constructive rest station. And we're going to be thinking about observation, observing ourselves, thinking about our habits and the choices that we can make. And for me, when the choices and the possibilities of moving around through space in time get to be too much, I need a little lie down. And so lying down work is a pause that refreshes. It's a way to rest that is very constructive. Thus, it is constructive rest. So I'm going to guide you as if you're speaking to yourself. So I'm very much going to be speaking in the first person. Observation, habits, and choice. I want ease. I want freedom. I want wholeness and I'm making these choices with the decision-making center of my brain. I allow myself to settle gently into lying down. I am allowing myself to be softer, kinder, and gentler. My knees are bent up toward the sky. My feet are on the ground and comfortably close to my body. My legs are parallel to each other. And I watched the pre-class video and I know that it's possible for me to let my knees fall into touch so that I don't have to hold my legs. And I know that I can also use a ball or a couch or a chair to support my legs. Right now, this is about me and finding comfort, kindness, and gentleness with myself. My hands are placed gently on my lower abdomen. My palms are wide. My fingers are long and my elbows lie easily and gently out to the side. My head is supported by the books I put under them and for now my eyes are open. It could be that I may actually fall asleep but for right now I'm going to stay awake and aware and I'm going to observe. I give myself to the support of the ground. 
I calmly listen and wait. Nothing special to do, just listen. I have time. I am listening to myself with all of my senses. My skin, my sense of touch or tactile sense, and all of the things my skin feels, my clothes, the surface I'm touching, my tactile sense. I am also listening with my joints. All of the movable joints in my body that give me my movement sense. My kinesthesia, my sense of movement, my proprioception. I am also listening with my eyes and my ears, or my sight and my hearing. What I see in the room, what I hear in the room. I'm also listening with my nose and my mouth, the smells in the room and the tastes in my mouth. Right now I am being omnisensorial or all listening to permit my sense of movement, my sense of touch, sight, sound, taste, and smell all to exist for me right now. I am awake to my emotions, to my thoughts, to any aches or pains I may notice. And I allow myself to be breathed. I'm going to take a moment and notice all four phases of each breath. I'm going to notice my exhalation, the rest that occurs at the end of an exhalation, before a spontaneous inhalation occurs, the transition from inhalation to exhalation. I allow myself to be breathed, noticing all four phases of each breath. The exhalation, the rest at the end of an exhalation, the spontaneous inhalation that occurs, and then the transition to the exhalation. I let each rest phase at the end of an exhalation be as long as it wants to be, allowing my next inhalation to be a surprise. I observe the wave-like movement of my breath throughout my whole body, and I allow myself to be breathed. I notice my neck, and I allow my neck its length, its width, and its depth. And while noticing my neck, I also notice my hands. And on an unprepared exhalation, I move my arms up to explore my neck. I allow my breath freely and easily while I'm moving my arms to explore my neck, inviting ease, freedom, kindness and gentleness into my neck muscles. After giving my neck some love, I permit my hands to move slowly back down to resting on my abdomen. And I think to myself, I wish my neck freedom to allow my skull to release from my spine 
to allow my whole spine its length and ease and width. I let my neck muscles be free to let my head and my whole skull release away from my spine. I let my whole torso lengthen, widen, and deepen. I allow some release in through my upper arms, particularly through my underarms. And I let my elbows dynamically direct away from one another. And I permit my forearms to release away from my wrists and my wrists to release away from my forearms. My hands are soft, my hands are wide. My thigh bones and my knees are moving away from my pelvis. My feet feel soft and wide on the floor. My toes are long. My jaw is easy. I permit my tongue to release and be wide. My eyes, if they're still open, are soft and friendly. Now very slowly and one limb at a time, I play with gentle movements of each of my arms and each of my legs, allowing myself to move around and notice what it feels like to just get some movement of my arms and my legs. I continue to permit my breath while I'm exploring the movement of my arms and my legs. And when I feel like I've gotten my wiggles out, I bring my arms and legs back into the constructive rest position I started in. Again, permitting my neck to be free my skull to move forward and away from my spine, my whole back lengthening and widening, releasing under my arms, letting go behind my knees, finding ease inside of my elbows. And with an easy neck and an easy breath, I renew my relationship to the space that I am in the space above me, the space below me, the space around me, the space beyond me. I allow my awareness to be big. I let my neck be free. I let my head release forward and away from my spine to let my whole torso lengthen, widen, and deepen. My upper arms release back and down. My elbows direct away from one another. Forearms away from wrists, wrists away from forearms. My thigh bones and my knees are moving forward and away from my pelvis. My toes are long. My jaw is easy and my tongue releases in my mouth. My eyes are soft and friendly and I'm going to continue to wish my neck to be free to permit my length and my width. And that's my dog. <laughs> As my constructive rest is drawing to a close, I pause and I renew my inclusive awareness and my easygoing breath. On an unprepared exhalation, 
I explore movement, reaching, rolling, spiraling, and enjoying the mobility of my spine. Eventually, my rolling and my spiraling and my wiggling of my spine, eventually I'm going to roll onto my non-dominant side. I'm going to pause and notice and appreciate my free breath my long torso, my deep torso. And eventually I'm going to roll on to my hands and my knees, bringing up one foot under me and helping myself get up nice and slowly, taking all the time you need trusting your body to listen and wait as you then get up and take your constructive rest into some movement. I play with gentle springy movements of my whole body, leading with my skull, letting my spine follow and sending one knee forward as I walk on with my day. Thank you so much for that. Uh, we are so grateful to have you here today and we really appreciate it. And that was wonderful. I hope you're all feeling very relaxed and centered after that. So if you're currently on the Zoom call, you're invited to stay for a couple extra minutes to introduce yourself once we end the Facebook Live. But at this time, I'll turn it over to Jessica briefly to close us out for Facebook. Sure. Thank you so much, Dr. Lykar, for sharing all of that insight and knowledge with us and thank you to everyone who tuned in. Um, you can find more information about Dr. Lykar on her personal website which is amylykar.com. She is also the director of training for the Association of Body Mapping Education and you can find out more information there at bodymap.org. And as just a reminder that if you'd like to look up any previous sessions that we have done, you can find them on the Puerto Rico Flute Symposium Facebook page, on the Diaz del Moral Foundation website, on Francesca's site, playingwithoutpain.com, or on my site, mindfulmusicpedagogy.com. And you can also leave a comment or question in the live stream feed here, and we will address it in future sessions. Stay tuned. Uh, next week's session will be here at the same time, and we'll be continuing our discussion of the body, and we'll be focusing on learning some new stretches with Francesca. It will be shared live on the Facebook, on the Puerto Rico Flute Symposium Facebook page, and um, we will continue to update these sessions on the website. Hope you have a great week.